Today, the memorial and the feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Today is also the launching and presentation of the SVD vocation promotional video entitled, I Am a Divine Word Missionary, with a voiceover by Father Jerry Orbos, SVD. Our presider is Father Dennis Testado, SVD, missionary to the SVD Philippines Southern Province. He will be joined by Father Ronald Ray S. Martinez, SVD, and Father Sherwin Tristan Aromin, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Come, let us sing, let us praise the Lord, and gather in His altar to worship His name. Come, let us pray, let us open our hearts to receive His blessings and to feel His love. Let us kneel down and thank Him for all that He's done, for all of the blessings in our lives. Come, let us sing, let us pray. open our hearts to receive His blessings and to feel His love. To our brothers and sisters in Christ, here in the Shrine of the Divine Word, here in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City, and to all our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this sacred celebration, via live stream through Facebook and YouTube. Good morning and welcome to our celebration. We are gathered in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, we join the Holy Mother Church in celebrating the memorial of St. Ignatius of Loyola. I like so much one of the beautiful quotes of St. Ignatius of Loyola that says, There is no better wood for feeding God's love than the wood of the cross. A cross which is a sign of Christ himself and a cross which is a sign also of the faith of Christians. Brothers and sisters, let us continue to nurture this faith in this sacred celebration. And for us to be made worthy, let us pause for a moment of silence. And in the silence of our hearts, we recognize our weaknesses and failures and ask God's mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up Saint Ignatius of Loyola in your church to further the greater glory of your name. Grant that by his help, we may imitate him in fighting the good fight on earth and merit to receive with him a crown in heaven. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses on Mount Sinai, Seven weeks of years shall you count, seven times seven years, so that the seven cycles amount to forty-nine years. Then on the tenth day of the seventh month, let the trumpet resound. On this, the day of atonement, the trumpet blast shall re-echo throughout your land. This fiftieth year you shall make sacred by proclaiming liberty in the land for all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you when every one of you shall return to his own property, everyone to his own family estate. In this fiftieth year, your year of jubilee, you shall not sow, nor shall you reap the aftergrowth, or pick the grapes from the untrimmed vines. Since this is the jubilee, which shall be sacred for you, you may not eat of its produce, except as taken directly from the field. In this year of jubilee, then, every one of you shall return to his own property. Therefore, when you sell any land to your neighbor or buy any from him, do not deal unfairly. On the basis of the number of years since the last jubilee, shall you purchase the land from your neighbor. And so also, on the basis of the number of years for crops, shall he sell it to you. When the years are many, the price shall be so much the more. When the years are few, the price shall be so much the less. For it is really the number of crops that he sells you. Do not deal unfairly then, but stand in fear of your God. I, the Lord, am your God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. The earth has yielded its fruits. God, our God, has blessed us. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod the Tetrarch heard of the re reputation of Jesus and said to his servants, This man is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. 
Now Herod had arrested John, bound him and put him in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip. For John had said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Although he wanted to kill him, he feared the people, for they regarded him as a prophet. But at the birthday celebration of Herod, the daughter of Herodias performed a dance before the guest and delighted Herod so much that he swore to give her whatever she might ask for. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was distressed, but because of his oath and the guests who were present, he ordered that it be given, and he had John beheaded in the prison. His head was brought in on a platter and given to the girl who took it to her mother. His disciples came and took away the corpse and buried him, and they went and told Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you so much, Father Sherwin. To my right, to my left, po pala ay si Father Dennis Estado. If you notice, tatap po kami ngayon because today, later on, we are going to present to you and launch yung SVD vocation promotional video. So please stand by until the end of the Mass. So once again, hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in and for being with us today. Jesus must be so happy to welcome you and see you all in this celebration. So on your screen po pala, lalabas dyan yung poster na title ng aking homily. Kung ipong mababasa na nakalagay dyan, dalawa uh, manres sa moments, sa baba niya naman ay Herodian moments. Manresa moment is connected with St. Ignatius na kung saan po ngayon ang ating pinagdiriwang nakapistahan niya at yung Herodian moment naman connected yan sa binasang gospel ni Father Sherwin when he wrote, order the killing of John the Baptist. So let's start with what is this Manresa Manresa moment? I have to bring you 20 years ago 2001, ako po ay second year college that time dito sa Christ the King Seminary. Kasi pag second year ka na at may darating mga first year, yung mga second year, ang kanilang role ay to orient and guide the first year. Magiging kaming guide, tapos po yung mga first year naman, we will call them guidee. And I remember, meron akong dalawang guidee that time. One of them is Mark, ang pangalan niya si Mark. Siya ay born and raised in Manila. So Manila boy siya. I will never forget, uh, forget our conversation. Tinanong ko siya, saan ka nag-aral? Sabi ko, ng elementary at high school. Sabi niya, sa Manresa School. Eh, something new to me. Kaya di ba kasi karaniwan, ang mga pangalan ng mga Catholic school ay yung mga nakapangalan sa mga santo at mga apostoles. Sabi ko, ano yan? Ko, ano ang Manresa? He explained to me. Ang Manresa daw po pala ay lugar yan sa Spain, a town, kung saan si St. Ignatius Loyola nagstay for 11 months para mag-soul searching. At famous ito kasi St. Ignatius was praying 7 hours a day sa katabi po ng cave ng Manresa and overlooking naman sa isang river. At sabi niya, sabi ko, bakit siya nag-soul searching? Nag-soul searching. Kasi ito daw po si Ignatius galing sa Mayana Pamilya and supposedly he is being prepared for high-ranking military position. Nagkataon lang natamaan siya ng bala ng kanyon. I can imagine, kasi one time pumunta kami ng museum, pinikita doon yung mga bala ng kanyon. Ang pinakamalit po ng bala ng kanyon ay ganito. 
pinakamalaki ay ganito. Naisip ko buti din nagkalay katawan ni Ignatius. Ang tinamaan lang ay kanyang right and left foot. Pero kanyang left foot ay na-damage. So this was a turning point sa buhay po ni St. Ignatius. Dahil dito, pag niya from the war, nagstay siya for many long years daw sa recovery. Then doon niya na nakapag nandun siya sa loob ng kwarto, he read the life of Jesus and the life of the saint. Tapos para may konti ng tawag si Jesus daw sa kanya. Pero to clarify it further, Ignatius went to Manresa para doon niya mapag-isa and there to discover more about this Jesus calling him. At doon sa Manresa, nagkaroon siyang tinatawag na spiritual awakening. So when I say Manresa moments, that's what you call spiritual awakening the Lord is giving you. Pero alam niyo po pala sa Filipino language, we can have many spiritual awakening. Kasi una, yung salitang nahimasmasan, naalala ko one time, pagising ko sa umaga, kasi alam kong burden isang pari, ang ginawa ko naman, yung cellphone ko, binati ko kagad siya, with what, yung mata ko malabo pa, then close yung isang mata. I thought I was saying the right message. Tapos after 15 minutes, nagreply yung pari, sabi niya, ano ito? Pagtingin ko, naku, iba pala yung mga nasabi ko, kahit ako di ko maintindihan. I only understood it nang naimasmasa na ako. So ganun na pala, naimasmasa, naging clear view na ang buhay mo. Pangalawa, ang isang Filipino, nagkaroong spiritual awakening, kung nakaranas po siya ng yung natauhan, kaya sabi mo sa nanay ko, hintayin hintay mo lang yung kapatid mo, matatauhan din yan. At pag sabi pong natauhan, from the word tao, ibig sabihin, when you finally realize, that you have to be more human. Kasi siguro, in the past, you have been inhuman. So yun po ang possible in Filipino language, spiritual awakening. Pwede rin po yung salitang malalim na pangunawa o malawik na pananaw. You're able to see many angles of your life. And the most important, yung deeper understanding, yung you're able to connect the dots that happen to you. Like what St. Ignatius yung kanyang cannonball, nakita niya, God is speaking to him through the cannonball. Yung tinamaan siya, the curse became a blessing. So, ganun din po pala sa buhay natin, you're able to connect the dots, and things made sense. The past made sense. Tapos, another one po, pag ang isang Filipin nakaranas ng spiritual awakening, yung, yung naging malalim ka na, malalim, kaya minsan, binibiro ka ng mga kaibigan mo, Uy, deep ka na ngayon, deep. Because, malalim ng ugat, ibig sabihin, di ka na basta-basta natitinag. And for us Filipino, because of our devotion to God, the Holy Spirit and Jesus, lumala, tumatatag ating kalooban, that's a spiritual awakening. And for Ignatius of Loyola, yung kanya pong, yung 11 years na po kasi sa, 11 months niya po sa Manresa, that, that was the point yung dumaan siya ng struggle, kasi mayaman siya eh, tapos a, a very proud person, proud siya sa pinagilan niya family, and now the Lord is turning around his life. So grabe kanyang struggle, nahirapan siya makalit go sa kanyang, uh, mga magang militar ba ako, and he is supposed to marry. Tapos dumaan din siya ng matinding purification, filtering, stretching, and enlightenment. Naisip ko naman, oo nga naman talaga, ang taong nag-aasam na lumago, have to be prepared to be stretched. If you don't want to grow, then do not undergo stretching. Ang taong gustong lumago ang pagkatao, lumago ang pagmamahal sa Diyos, have to undo purification. Kasi if not, It's difficult to face the Lord. Okay, but and, at may rap tama talaga lumago if you are not enlightened. Okay, for those of you wanting to relate and love Jesus all the more, if you want to take the risk, then you will undergo kindly prepare yourself. You will undergo many stages of enlightenment, purification, and stretching. Because but don't worry. At that moment, 
God is also unlocking the best part in you. God is also releasing something in you like what He did to Ignatius. Kaya nga ang, 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 ang prayer ko sana moment of you will experience many Manresa moments. But for us, our purpose, you can find two ways you can experience Manresa moment. Yung the most important Manresa moment na pwedeng maranasan po ng isang tao when you finally discover that you have God in you and God have you. Na hindi ka pala nag-iisa that when you fight battles, God stand at your side. That God is happy to have you. That you see that your life it, it itself a gift and a blessing. And no matter what you have been through in your past, your life will always remain valuable. At isa din sa masabi mo na dumang ka ng Manresa moment, when you see that there is reason for living despite of everything, that your life matter. Kasi si St. Ignatius of Loyola, akala niya wala nang saysay ang buhay niya kasi nadamage yung kanyang left foot. Paano pa siya makakapag-gera? Kaya dumaan din siya na tinatawag na depression. But, but the Lord made him feel, kahit ang paa mo putol, I will still love you. That you did not come from accident, but your life has a purpose. So, pag isang tao mayroong manresa moment, you thought it's over. But God will tell you, no, the road is ahead. All the best things in life are still ahead of you. Pangalaw din po pala na malaman mo na ikaw ay dumadaan sa manresa moment, when you begin to see that your woes and tragedy in life are your best blessing. Sa una, it's like a curse. But later on, turn later to be a blessing. Tulad po ng tumama na bala sa paa ni St. Ignatius that caused him a wound. Minsan ako bilang tao, tinatanong ko minsan sa dasal ko, kahit pari na ako, bakit naman kasi Panginoon nangyari sa akin ng bata iyon? Ay pero tuloy daladala ko pa hanggang ngayon. Why, the, why, those, why do I have to have wounds? Wala bang hindi pwedeng walang problema ako? But you know, in my reflection, sabi doon, how can God enter to your life if He will not break open something from you? So that's what happened to Ignatius. The wounds serve as an opening where God's light can enter. So friends, do not hate yourself sometimes if you have plenty of imperfection or wounds. Look at it as an invitation for a closer relationship with God. A process to develop you further, to make you more stronger, a better person. So sana po, sana, since papasok na naman tayo sa ECQ, sana you take that opportunity to be your Manresa moment, not Herodian moment. That many trials will come, but tell yourself, it's not yet over. I have not to give up because brighter tomorrow always and God will brighten me, will brighten my perspective. At kung may mga bagay kayo mawawala in the coming days, isipin nyo, mababalik pa naman yan. What is important, you are still there. Nandiyan pa kayo. Kasi kayo pinakamahalaga na nandiyan pa kayo. Hanggang buhay ka pa, hanggang nandiyan ka pa, God can still do something. Tinyo sa Ignatius, kahit nawala yung paan Ignatius, okay lang. Basta nandiyan pa yung kanyang buong pagkatao. Ang mahalaga yung nandiyan pa yung pagkatao. So stay positive. Stay light. Kasi kung you stay heavy and bitter, pareho lang naman. Walang mangyari. Di ba? Did you notice it? If you become bitter for one month, walang mangyari. Mas marami mangyari if you will stay light and positive. So always in Always, I hope again, you will have plenty of Manresa moments. Ano naman tong Herodian moment? Short na lang po ito. Herodian moment naman ito, kasi di ba God invites King Herod to change their life then, and by sending John. Ano, anong, how did Herod solve the problem? By refusing, by killing John. Ang gusto ko dito pong i-center ninyong attention nyo, how Herod solved their problem. Ano gin ginawa nila? They solved it with another problem. Pwede ba yun? May problema, tapos ang solusyon problema. Ano maging resulta? 
I think not a real solution. He rode silence the truth. He allowed his anger to rule him. So that's one thing we have to avoid. We cannot solve a problem with another problem. The only way to solve and face a problem is to face it with real solution, with light, not with darkness. Kaya balahan nyo po ang sarili nyo. Ngayong darating na edad, may, dahil marami kayong bala ng ilaw kasi marami tayong pagdaanan na Herodian moment. Dapat you must find man rest of many moments in the midst of your Herodian moment. For example, paalala to sa mga medyo mahina ang self-confidence. Kung alam mo nang mahina ang self-confidence mo, then do not anymore entertain negative thoughts. Huwag mo nang gagatungan sarili mo. Huwag ka nang manonood ng horror. Huwag ka nang iinom ng kape sa gabi. Di ka makakatulog. So, find a right solution. Sa mga pamilya na nag-aaway, kung meron kayong relationship problem, may, may nagkakasakit sa pamilya, may financial problem, it's not time para mag and blame one another. Hindi ka kasi nag-aral lang mabuti. Di mo inaayos yung pag-ano negosyo natin. I think that will, that will not help. Kaya if you ask me to close his homily, saan nagkamali si, Igne, si Herod? Nagkamali siya kasi hindi muna sila nagdasal. Kasi kung nagdasal sila, sila mag-asawa kasama yung anak ni Herodia, siguro hindi lang magagawa po yung karudumal-dumal na gawain. Kaya nga if you hunt more manresa moments, you pray more and longer. Like St. Ignatius. May nabasa ako. Gusto ko pong kayong iwanan na nabasa kong quotation. Sabi doon, Pray instead of worrying. Pray instead of stressing. Pray instead of panicking. Pray instead of overthinking. Pray instead of being bitter. In every situation, just pray. Why? Why? Bakit pala pray? Kasi when we pray, during the prayer, we allow God to turn around our mind, turning it around, our mind, our heart, and soul. And at the moment you are praying, God is filling you with His light, with hope, with healing and courage. In short, in the process of healing, you will experience turning point inside, turning point inside. Para after prayer, pagkatapos magdasal, you will now see clearly the point. Nakita mo na, ito palang point. Then, after seeing the point, you will have a sense of power to turn things around you. So once again, God bless. Thank you so much. Please stay until the end of the Mass because we are going to present and launch today the SVD Vocation Promotion 2021. Gathered together in Christ, who conquers all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions. For every petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen world. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That warring nations may learn to live in harmony and mutual cooperation in bringing peace to the world. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in opposing the subtle influences of evil. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may receive the comfort of God's love from those engaged in caring for them. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may come to the promised everlasting home. We pray. Lord, 
hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for our own intentions. Almighty God and Father, as we offer our prayers, we thank you for your Son, the conqueror of sin and death, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church may these offerings we make to you as we celebrate Saint Ignatius be pleasing Lord God and grant that the sacred mysteries which you have made the fonts of all holiness may sanctify us too in the truth through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of Saint Ignatius, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim.
Ama naming banal Ikaw ang bukal ng tanang kabanalan Kaya't sa pamamagitan ng iyong Espiritu Gawin mong banal Ang mga kaloob na ito Upang para sa amin Maging katawan at dugo ng aming Panginoong Heso Kristo. Bago niya pinagtiis ang kusang loob na maging hando, hinawakan niya ang tinapay, pinasalamatan kanya, pinaghati-hati niya iyon, Iniabot sa kanyang mga alagad at sinabi, Tanggapin ninyong lahat ito at kanin ito ang aking katawan. na ihahandog para sa inyo. Gayon din naman, noong matapos ang hapunan, hinawakan niya ang kalis, muli kanyang pinasalamatan, iniabot niya ang kalis sa kanyang mga alagad at sinabi, Tanggapin ninyong lahat ito at inumin ito ang kalis ng aking dugo ng bago at walang hanggang tipan ang aking dugo na ibubuhos Para sa inyo at para sa lahat, sa ikapagpapatawad ng mga kasalanan. Gawin ninyo ito sa pag-alala sa akin. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Ignatius of Yolola, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the peace of Christ. Peace. To our Brothers and sisters who are joining us by live stream, peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Word of love, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the sacrifice of praise that we have offered with thanksgiving in honor of Saint Ignatius, O Lord, bring us to exalt your majesty without end. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated po para sa konting announcement. Ang una po namin ay today we're going to present and launch to you yung aming pong what I told you kanina, SVD Vocational Promotional Video. So thank you for staying and being with us. Kung niyo po palang nahalata ngayon, mga kapatid, tatlo kami ngayon. Ako ay ang Father Ronald Reyes Partines, the Vice Rector of the Shrine. And then, sa aming middle, is Father Sherwin, Prefect of Seminarians of Christ the King. At meron po tayong bagang muka, kung di niyo po nahalata, yung ating Mass Presider. Siya po pala ay si Father Dennis Testado, SVD. He is my classmate. We were ordained together with other classmates ng December 1, 2012. So tatlo kami because today is something special. Kasi again, as I said, we are going to launch and present the video. Ito na po yung second video. Kasi if you notice, months ago, yung first video, ang title ay Pagpaparaya. Ngayon naman ay, ang title ay, I am a Divine Word Missionary. This is a three-minute video promotion which may be shown after this introduction. So ano ito? Dalawa lang. Una, gusto po ipakita ng vocation promotion video na ito, ipakita yung gawain namin bilang takapagdala ng salita ng Diyos. Yung first video, kung paano yung mga sinarista nag-aaral at retrain. At dahil nga that time ay lockdown, pinakita lang namin yung gawain ng mga kung ikaw ay na-assign sa seminaryo. Since tapos na yung lockdown last month, nakaroon na kami yung time to go outside. Doon po sa video, may isang pari na misyonero. Makikita nyo, nakasakay sa motor, going to a barrio mission. Kaya siya nakasakay sa motor. This is what mostly taken in Paitan, Mindoro, and Oriental Mindoro at large because many SVDs are there. At yung main actor po doon, makikita nyo mamaya, ay siya mismo si Father Dennis Testado SVD. That's why when yesterday I learned na ilalabas na yung video, I thought of bringing him here with you para po makita nyo mismo in person and in flesh. At alam nyo po pala, ito pong ating aking classmate si Father Dennis Testado is a well-tested and well-rounded missionary SVD. Eight years na kami sa pagpare. Two years he was assigned in Agusan. Tapos after doon, during Yolanda, he stayed there kasi po siya ang ginawang coordinator ng relief operations and housing project ng SVD after the Yolanda. So he's a congratulations, Father Dennis. Thank you for your help in the Yolanda development. At ngayon po, he is now in Manila because he is now studying for his doctorate in corporate governance and strategic management. At alam niyo po pala ito, at aking classmate ay pumasok siya, college na professional. He is a major in physics. Kaya po kung isipin, he is a very gifted person. Naisip ko siguro, marami siyang manresa moments. That's why he chose to be a priest. Doon po pala sa video, take note, boses yan ni Father Jerry Orbos, melding scripts sa ilalim. So, yun ang first point para ipakita. Ang second naman po ng point ng video na yan, to invite young men to consider to become a religious missionary priest and brothers of the SVD, Divine Word Missionary. Kaya sa huli, makita nyo po dyan yung mga contact numbers and address para kung meron kayo kakilala o nagikinig kayo na interesado, don't hesitate to communicate with us. And I am aware na kahit po thousands ngayon are in live attendance, most of you are mothers, fathers, grandparents, 
baka yung mga bata ngayon na target audience na natutulog pa. So kung pwede pagising nila, kaya nila po ang magsabi sa kanila to replay the video on this part. So again, to representing the our provincial, Father Joe Marquez, and his assistant, said Fine, Father said Fernandez, I would like to open to you and present the video promotion of the SVD. You may now open it. Life, they say, is like a winding road. You move in straight lines and navigate tough corners through the regions and the shadows. You may struggle with truth and doubt. Life was never made to be easy. But with faith, hard work, and a heart unafraid, you will reach the mountain top. Find the light that you can carry inside you. Through rough patches. You journey towards your goal. But knowing why you do it, for whom you do it, makes all the difference. But at the end of your trail, you live for the joy in the smiles of those whose lives you have touched. Not for any fame or glory, but because you chose to follow the Lord's path. To shine God's love into the darkest corners. And lead on to the light. I am called. I am a divine word missionary. Provincial Superior, Father Drew Marquez, SVD, and in close collaboration with the Father Rupert Solis, the head of the vacation office, and the technical team, Father Seth Frinebres and his party. Pangalaw po pala, na gusto ko din po i-announce ay about a Facebook page. I inviting you, kung pwede po saan you can follow, lalabas yan sa poster ninyo later on, yung Words to Light Our Path. Nag-produce siya ng mga prayer and sp sparring quotation. Maybe right after the Mass, you can have time to like and follow the page. Words to light our path. Tapos pangatlo, sa gusto pong magpamisa for tomorrow, ay ang aming pong link system, ito po, www.bit.ly Shrine Intentions. Kung gusto pong magpamisa, or you may go directly po sa aming Facebook Messenger sa Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word kung di po kayo maka-access doon sa bit.ly bit Shrine Intentions pwede po doon sa Facebook Messenger 
pwede na rin po kayo mag-like and follow to our page. So once again, thank you for staying. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you, Father Sherwin, and thank you, Father Dennis. We pray together, the Uratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and in the world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, God forever, forever and ever. And ever. Amen. We, we fly to your protection, protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do, do not, not despise protect. our petition in our necessities, and deliver us always from all dangers. O, o glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reynademets, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God bless you with every heavenly blessing. Make you always holy and pure in His sight. Pour out in abundance upon you the riches of His glory and teach you with the words of truth. May He instruct you in the gospel of salvation and ever endow you with fraternal charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration has been offered. Go in peace to serve and love the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hey, Mary, full of grace. Blessed are you, blessed.
Amen. Uh...